After installing the plugin, you want to select your face and then come here into this first button where it says register the meshes. From here, we're going to register the head by clicking the head mesh button. Then the left eye, it's right here. You click this plus button after selecting the left eye and right eye and register with the accordion button. You will see that a vertex icon is going to appear next to the name. Next, I'm going to register all of the other objects in the eye, in this case, other eye, other right eye, and other left eye, as well as the eyelashes right here. Next, I'm going to register body hair, face hair, in this case, the eyebrows. And with all of that, we click on the next tab, and from here, we're going to create the projection landmarks. The first click is going to be anchored, or at least you're going to try to anchor it to the chin. The second is going to be wide, and the third one is going to set the uh, fixed controls over the face. From here, we're going to project again the landmarks right here, and that is going to take us to the side view, just as if we had pressed the number three keypad on the numpad. From there, we can arrange all of the controls that are going to appear once we click on Generate the Face Rig. Here we have the controls, but now we need to bind it. So click on Bind, and you're done. Now, if you're setting up an anime face, the next thing that you need to do is go back to the landmarks, and once you're there, go to the Object Mode, select the face, and now click here where it says Create Locator Empties going to ask you what kind of locators you're going to select eyes click OK two locators for the eyes are going to appear go into x-ray mode and from there move them all the way to the back of the eye socket where the regular eyeball sphere would be now if you move them you will notice that they are going to be snapped turn off snapping and then relocate those two empties on the back of the head just like regular eyes pivots eyes origins if we can say it once they're there you're going to click on generate the face rig once again and once that's done all of the controls are created and now you're going to click on bind after you click on bind you can now see that your rig is actually working and bond to all of the objects that you previously registered now let's move on into the expression tab from here, we're going to create all of the expressions. I'm going to switch to the dope sheet. This is important. Select all of your controls so that you can see what's going on. Once we're there, we're going to click on expressions and select one of the presets. The R kit is going to be the 52 R kit blend shapes. Um, actually, that they're going to be rigged as poses with this button. So each one of them, it's representing a little section of the dope sheet as you can see right here so this is to sculpt this is to um, enhance and this is to mirror the pose onto the other side so let's say you're fixing this side and you want to change it or overshoot it exaggerate it or modify it with sculpt then you can click on those buttons but anyways let's move on and then we want to bake this so every other expression that we have created with the controls we now are going to bake it as a blend shape all of these poses are going to be baked. So you can select your object. You can see that these shape keys are empty. And once we click on bake on, po on expressions, they are all going to be right here. Now, if you want to remove all of those animations, just go to the dope sheet, select everything, and then delete. And from there, you have all of your expressions baked as blend shapes. And that's it. This is really all you need to do for the basic rundown. Of course, there are a lot of issues that you can... Uh, technically cover once you get to read the uh, guide, the official guide for Face It, but let me tell you that everything I do is using this amazing add-on. So you can check out the link in the description, in the video description down below. Check out Face It latest version and you can join their Discord where the developer is always helpful for any of your questions. My name is Pierre Schiller and let me ask you something. Have you tried Blender? Try Blender. Blender is powerful and beyond artistry compatible.